uh, to uh, find vegetables and so on. And yeah, there he comes. Yeah, He's there a he decent comes. sized elephant bull. So you were trying to keep him out by positioning your vehicles in the way you had done so? It was just chance. It just happened that way. We put them like that and then heard about it. And I thought, okay, they're always going to go past us now. Yeah. But well, everyone's changes. looking quite relaxed at the moment. Yeah, yeah. An elephant is what well, is he looking for some food? Has he actually been in before, or was this the first time? No, we we just arrived that day. We hadn't uh, seen him before. Um, okay, well, he's a decent-sized fellow, and we'll notice in a moment when we can see. I'm thinking this is you on the chair, shortly coming up in frame. Is that going to yeah, be too, but... in a moment? There we go. That's you yeah. with the hat on. That's. Um... I just got, yes, that's right. That's me with a lion on my chest. I think that's what kept and him in at the back. That bag there, the elephant's picking up, is just a bag of, of rubbish, a bag of tins or but, something. Yeah, that's right, a rubbish bag. And uh, just now he'll pick up one of my jackets, which I valued and treated with disdain. Okay, now, Mike, we're going to pause it here in a second. Just give me one more second. How are you feeling right there? Right there, Mike. Yeah, I was feeling okay. You know, we, we decided not to move because we thought that might startle him. And I, I, I just breathed slowly and deeply and hope he didn't drink my gin. <laughs> well, you're looking very relaxed. The gentleman on your left, is he as relaxed as you? I think so. I think you did the right move by just sitting very still because very sudden yeah. movements can cause them to react in a certain way. So by his behavior, he's looking very relaxed here. This is your jacket moment, am I right? Yeah, that's right. Very inquisitive, sniffing and smelling. He clearly <laughs> wants to try and grab something. Jacket's not interesting. He comes back again for a second round and now uh, your heart rate has increased a little bit more at this point. <laughs> yes. I wasn't taking my pulse, I can tell you. <laughs> you haven't really looked at him. They're a little bit out the corner of your eye. But, I mean, he's a monster. When you look at him in context to this vehicle, um, and then <laughs> this lady here with the blue hat, she looks a little bit less, a little bit more concerned than you did. Yeah, no, she was. She was, she was a bit more nervous than we were. And I think what, it, what offended her was that he was fiddling with her son's truck. Okay. And later with his head, and that, that upset her a bit. Yes, well, he's definitely looking for something, and everything here so far seems to be locked away in sort of storage containers or locked fridges and all that. Um, so he hasn't yet found anything, but his very keen sense of smell, and <laughs> she's looking a little bit worried. Did you pour her stiff gin and tonic yeah. after that? <laughs> I think so. Uh, Yes, we, we put all our vegetables and things away um, because uh, we'd been told about him. Okay. Uh, but, and um, that lady, Jean Bissett, had had some apples which she put into the tent. Okay. That tent that you can see just on the right the, of the picture. The tent on the right there, which the elephant is slowly <laughs> starting to figure out. He's going to go for the bag once again, I think. No, he's going to go straight now for the TED. So you two still haven't moved, still looking quite relaxed.